at some point, depending on, on, a, on some things here, you might have to make a real hard decision between your wife and your family and yourself and your life and your old friend, Wes Hermantine. There's no hard decision there at all. Okay, and... I've already told you that. I mean, my family's more important than anything in, in the world to me. Right. But I also sense in That's you, Lauren, that, that, you're, that you're a good friend, and that unless we hold your fins to the fire, you're not going to give up Wes unless you're absolutely forced to. Give him up what? I mean... Well, I've already told you the what. The what that's bothering us is that we have a young woman who was seen no, talking with you guys, and we have a chunk of time that's unaccounted for. I mean, I'm, you're not an intelligent, Lauren. You, you can see, you know what this, what our problem, what the problem is. Well, yeah, I can understand that. But like you said, you have got other people that say the same thing I said about when after the bar. Witnesses tell us that you, Cindy, and Wes are huddled up at the end of that bar. I don't remember being in any hell with anybody. All right, but you guys are talking for not just a minute, not just a couple of minutes, but for an extended that, period of time. That's I can't I can't recall that. I mean I can't picture that at all. All three of us might have been talking at one time, but I can't see that at the end of the bar. I mean that just wasn't there. What do you think happened to Cindy, Warren? I really don't know. I thought about it, I don't know. I mean, I assume that even though you and Christine have had your ups and downs, she was the mother of your children, I assume. Yeah. And she's, for by all appearances, a, a, keeps a good home for you and takes good care of you your kids. Of okay. What if it were Christine that we were talking about oh, tonight? Man. <laughs> okay. I remember you said that before, and I was just like, geez. I know this isn't Christine we're talking about. I don't know what I did. But your mom and dad, I know how your mom would feel. I've, I've, I've yeah, I know that uh, Cindy's parents must be. They're, they're devastated. Yeah. They I, are inconsolable. I, mean, I try to think about it because I mean, it'd be like, I'd be getting in there with them. <laughs> yeah, I'd, I'd be back. And it never goes away. I know. I've, I've lost a lot of people. So in they pretty much know that we're only going to find a body. They pretty much know that by now. You may have a hard way to think. Or, yeah, but you know what? I mean, you got to think positive. No, there's no thinking positive about this. S that the relationship between Cindy and her family was so close that there's no way that she's not that she's voluntarily gone. Okay, and they pretty much resigned themselves to the fact that that all they're looking for now is her body. But you know what? They need that because without that. Yeah, they give up. Without that, that, can you imagine not, not knowing? The not knowing where she is yeah, is terrible. harder than knowing, because they already know that she's not coming home. But can you imagine Christine disappearing and not knowing I where her... I would really go home and sit here and think that way, because, you know, that's sad. Anything um, having her is why knowing... Why do I sit here and think this way? That's sad. Well... Why are you putting me through it? Because, Lauren, my job doesn't come with a crystal ball. Well, sure, and go. somebody that we have talked to since we started this investigation we have we've stumbled across lies and we don't know why the lies the lies are for two reasons because the person that's telling the lie knows that they've had something to do with Cindy's disappearance and they're afraid or they're guilty or there's another but people lie for all kinds of reasons a I and don't I don't know, know why they lie. I don't know either. Wes is lying and I don't know why. Is it because he had something to do with Cindy's disappearance and he knows that? Or is there some other reason? I don't know. But do you see, I, I'm, I'm not asking you, Lauren, I'm just I, saying. I know you you ask me why am I putting I, it through I know this? What you mean. It's just I want to find Cindy and put her parents, it's agony to even be around them. If it come right down to push and shove, would, if, would Wes choose, if Wes needed to cover himself, He'd give you up in a heartbeat. You know he would. The likes of Freddie and him, are they going to cover for you? Never. <laughs> are they going to cover for me? Huh? <laughs> it's funny. Are they going to cover for me? Are they? <laughs> I don't know what they'd be covering me for. Well, uh, you, you grew up with Wes, and you've known the good. There is good about him, but there is bad about him, too. I've I've met him on both sides. I've seen him. In, people, I've right. seen him in both. That's true. But some folks have got some pretty bad. But their bad side is pretty pretty bad. 
I, s I just finished the report from Calaveras County on that gal that he got hooked up with back last year. Yeah, I didn't want to know about it. I heard something about it. I didn't want to know more about that. He gets pretty wild when he's when he's doing drugs or when he's cranking and when he's drinking, doesn't he? He gets pretty he wild, does. doesn't he? I don't know. Wild enough, I'd say. You ever think that Wes would be capable of forcing a girl to have sex with him? I don't know. I don't know. Probably. Maybe not. Maybe not. At some point, um, in order again to further eliminate you, we would probably ask you for a blood sample and hair hair standard samples. Would you be willing to do that? To further eliminate you from what's going on. I'm you just keep sucking me in more and more. Well, no, no, no. That's the way I feel. This is a problem. That's the way I'm feeling. Okay, but remember this. You're not the only one who's done this. This is, You're like the fifth or sixth person, and we always ask them. This is what we call a process of elimination. Well, that's what they started out. Yeah, but do you understand? Right. How, I mean, what would you have to worry about? Nothing, now, your sample's not going to be there, and, you're, and nothing of your biological fluids is going to be there, right? Right? It's going to be anywhere. Or Nowhere. Me? Right. Where? Right. And but see, we won't know that unless we took those samples and compared them to the samples that we find. Right? Got it? Is that right? Right. But okay. And the other thing I'm going to ask you is that at some point, if, if it's necessary, and that's why I'm asking you now, or we'd be doing it now, would you be willing to either take a polygraph or a truth verification test that verifies that you do not, in fact, know anything about the disappearance of Cindy Vanderheiden? Because what would the results of that test be? When asked that question, what would the results be? Do you know anything? Oh, about the whereabouts? No. About the dis bouncing right now. About her disappearance. Okay. Do you know anything about the disappearance of Cindy Vander right now? No. Okay. Do you know, do you suspect that anyone is, is involved in her disappearance? Is there anyone that you suspect is involved in the disappearance of Cindy Vander Heiden? I don't know. I'm not, you know, I mean, I'm not trying to be suspecting or anything. Well, if it was Christine, you'd be certainly thinking about people that are around you and who, who might have been responsible for that. We're asking you, is there anybody that you suspect that's more likely to have something to do with Cindy's disappearance than not? I didn't do the last thing. Okay. Anybody else? Can we take you back home? Please. <laughs> <laughs> Please.